Today we're going to be demonstrating the technique, You Are Special. And I love using this technique with children to work on self-esteem issues. And what I'm finding in my work, especially with children who experience anxiety and OCD, is oftentimes they've internalized a lot of the negative self-talk that they hear in their head, that chatter that they hear in their head to really be their true identity. And with this technique, we help reframe some of these negative self-thoughts. So how we start this is we read the book, You Are Special by Max Lucado. And although this is a Christian book, I really love the, the story of this book that we are all special and nobody is a mistake. What you're gonna need for this technique is the book, You Are Special by Max Lucado. And I like to use the My Blanco doll and you can also use, though, if you don't have a Blanco doll, you can use um, a piece of paper and just draw a gingerbread man. And then your client is going to draw their stars and dots on them. Or this is also very, very powerful in a family therapy session where the child draws their dots, but the parent draws, the, draws their stars. And then we do some of the reframing on the back. And we'll show this in just a minute. The Wemmicks were small wooden people. All of the wooden people were carved by a woodworker named Eli. His workshop sat on a hill overlooking their village. Each Wemmick was different. Some had big noses, others had large eyes. Some were tall and others were short. Some wore hats, others wore coats. But all were made by the same carver and all lived in the village. And all day, every day, the Wemmicks did the same thing. They gave each other stickers. Each Wemmick had a box of golden star stickers and a box of gray dot stickers. Up and down the streets, all over the city, people spent their days sticking stars or dots on one another. The pretty ones, those with smooth wood and fine paint, always got stars. But if the wood was rough or the paint chipped, the Wemmicks gave dots. Sometimes we do that, huh? Mm -hmm. Can you think of a time like where you were given a star or a dot? Like at school. A lot <laughs> at school yeah and sometimes we're gonna find out what happens to this little guy over here sometimes it seems like the same people over and over get the same stars and then there's other kids who always get dots huh mm -hmm. and that feels yucky inside the talented ones got stars too some could lift big sticks high above their heads or jump over tall boxes still others knew big words or could sing pretty songs Everyone gave them stars. Some Wemmicks had stars all over them. Every time they got a star, it made them feel so good. It made them want to do something else and get another star. Others, though, could do little. They got dots. Punchinello was one of these. He tried to jump high like the others, but he always fell. And when he fell, the others would gather around and give him dots. Sometimes when he fell, his wood got scratched, so people would give him more dots. That's when he would try to explain why he fell. He would say something silly, and the Wemmicks would give him more dots. After a while, he had so many dots that he didn't want to go outside. He was afraid he would do something dumb, such as forget his hat or step in the water. And then people would give him another dot. In fact, he had so many gray dots that some people would come up and give him one for no reason at all. I wonder how he felt. Mm -hmm. What do you think that would feel like to be covered in dots? I think it would be kind of, it would hurt. It would be like no one really understands. Yeah. Yeah, and you'd be scared to go outside and talk to people, huh? Mm -hmm. You would be scared to try new things. <laughs> you would definitely. And I wonder if sometimes, with all these gray dots covering himself, I wonder if he sometimes gave himself dots. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, when you just feel so bad inside? Mm -hmm. It's, yeah, it's like you don't even need anybody to give you other dots, huh? Yeah. You can, you do a really good job of giving yourself dots. He deserves lots of dots, the wooden people would agree with one another. He's not a good wooden person. After a while, Punchinello believed them. I'm not a good Wemmick, he would say. The few times he went outside, 
He hung around other Wemex who had a lot of dots. He felt better around them. I think sometimes we do that too, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. One day, he met a Wemmick who was unlike any he had ever met. She had no dots or stars. She was just wooden. Her name was Lucia. It wasn't that people didn't try to give her stickers. It's just that the stickers didn't stick. Some of the Wemmicks admired Lucia for having no dots, so they would run up and give her a star. But it would fall off. Others would look down on her for having no stars, so they would give her a dot. But it wouldn't stay either. That's the way I want to be, thought Punchinello. I don't want anyone's marks. So he asked the stickerless Wemmick how she did it. It's easy, she replied. Every day I go and see Eli. Eli? Yes, Eli, the woodcarver. I sit in the workshop with him. Why? Why don't you go find out for yourself? Go up the hill. He's there. And with that, the Wemmick, who had no stickers, turned and skipped away. But will he want to see me? Punchinello cried out. Lucia didn't hear. So Punchinello went home. He sat near a window and watched the wooden people as they scurried around giving each other stars and dots. It's not right, he muttered to himself, and he decided to go see Eli. He walked up the narrow path to the top of the hill and stepped into the big shop. His wooden eyes widened at the size of everything. The stool was as tall as he was. He had to stretch on his tiptoes to see the top of the workbench. A hammer was as long as his arm. Punchinello swallowed hard. I'm not staying here, and he turned to leave. Then he heard his name. Punchinello? The voice was deep and strong. Punchinello stopped. Punchinello, how good to see you. Come and let me have a look at you. Punchinello turned slowly and looked at the large bearded craftsman. You know my name? The little Wemmick asked. Of course I do. I made you. Eli stooped down and picked him up and set him on the bench. Hmm, the maker spoke thoughtfully as he looked at the gray dots. Looks like you've been given some bad marks. I didn't mean to, Eli. I really tried hard. Oh, you don't have to defend yourself to me, child. I don't care what the other women think. You don't? No, and you shouldn't either. Who are they to give stars or dots? They're women just like you. What they think doesn't matter, Punchinello. All that matters is what I think, and I think you are pretty special. Punchinello laughed. Me? Special? Why? I can't walk fast. I can't jump. My paint is peeling. Why do I matter to you? Eli looked at Punchinello, put his hands on those small wooden shoulders and spoke very slowly. Because you're mine. That's why you matter to me. Punchinello had never had anyone look at him like this, much less his maker. He didn't know what to say. How happy he looks. I mm -hmm. love that illustration. Mm -hmm. Eli smiled. You will, but it will take time. You've got a lot of marks. For now, just come to see me every day and let me remind you how much I care. Eli lifted Punchinello off the bench and set him on the ground. Remember, Eli said as the Wemmick walked out the door, you are special because I made you and I don't make mistakes. Punchinello didn't stop, but in his heart he thought, I think he really means it. And when he did, a dot fell to the ground. <laughs> now, we can be like Punchinello sometimes, mm -hmm. and we can let other people's stickers control how we feel about ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes we can already have these stickers, we give them to ourselves. Mm -hmm. And it can feel really yucky and bad inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and so on our doll, we've drawn a bunch of the gray dot stickers. And each of these dots 
a representative of either a feeling you have inside or a thought you've had that's negative about yourself or a way that you've felt about yourself. And we've covered our whole doll with all of our gray dots. So all of us have stars and dots, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And we're really good at remembering all of our dots. And you can see that we covered this guy in dots. Mm -hmm. You know, and some yeah. days it feels like we are covered in dots, in those gray dots. And it feels yucky and heavy inside. Mm -hmm. And I want you to think of, what would some star stickers be for you? Um... I like to act, I'm, I s like to sing and dance, and I'm funny, and I know that my mom loves me no matter what I do. <laughs> awesome. Let's give some stars on here. You can draw some stars just wherever you want. And if you don't have markers, you can also use star stickers and dot stickers. What are some other stars you think um, that you have? I'm funny. I um, I matter and I can make a difference. Awesome. I love that. Okay, let's definitely put some stars on there. <laughs> Perfect. So for each of the gray dots, that your client has drawn on their doll or on their piece of paper, what you want to do is you're going to flip it around and then for each gray dot, you're going to do a reframe for them. So if one of the dots was, I'm worried my mom doesn't love me if I make a mistake, what it would say is, I know my mom loves me no matter what. And this is when it's really powerful to have the parent in the room with the child so the parent can be helping to give these reframes to the child too. Because oftentimes, kids really worry about their parents and what their parents yeah. think, huh? Mm -hmm. And that really becomes a big part of that negative self-talk inside. So another one is a dot like, I don't ever feel loved. So the reframe could be, I feel loved when I snuggle. I love school and I have friends at school. I am a great big sister. I feel included and accepted by my dad. I am a really good artist. I'm funny. And I love this one. I matter to my family. Because sometimes those gray dots get to be so big, they feel like they cover our whole selves and we forget that we really, really do matter. And that our parents, even though sometimes parents aren't perfect mm -hmm. and they say things that are silly and they should not have said, they really love you no matter what. And so this can be an excellent family therapy activity to use and to really help remind the parent and child just how special the child is and how special their relationship is. So I hope you'll see us next time as our next technique.